Ilya Kovalchuk has still showed that he can put up good offensive numbers in one of the best leagues in the world, the KHL, at the age of 35 years old. As this season, he played in 55 games and put up 32 goals and 33 assists for 65 points playing for SKA Petersburg. So... I don't know what is the situation with him and you know there's all them reports that the New York Rangers were going to sign him to a 6 mil 2 to 3 year deal but Ilya Kovalchuk squashed them rumors saying that that's not true he denies that but he still does want to come over and play in the NHL for the next 2 to 3 years and it's pretty much confirmed at this point that he will be in the NHL next season it's just we don't know where yet. It's going to be an interesting summer as there's going to be a lot of high end free agents like Tavares. JVR, Ilya Kovalchuk, and Ilya Kovalchuk, obviously he wants to win a Stanley Cup or else he wouldn't be coming over to the NHL, and you're not going to win it with the New York Rangers as they are rebuilding, so that rumor, I kind of didn't believe it in the first place, because like, he wants to win a cup, why would he go there? Um, I could see him going to a contending team. A team I would love to see Ilya Kovalchuk go play for is the New Jersey Devils. They are a playoff team, they have a bunch of young talent, and adding a guy like Ilya Kovalchuk, we really don't know what kind of numbers he can still put up in the NHL at the age of 35. Obviously, he just has such offensive skill. He is one of the best shots in hockey, and if you play him on the power play, he is obviously going to put the puck in the net. So I think he would be a great fit for the New Jersey Devils. And yeah, like I said, I really would like to know where all these rumors came from that uh, uh, KHL Insider just tweeted. Like, where did he get that information from? Why did he just randomly say that if Ilya Kovalchuk denies it? So it's interesting to see this whole situation is kind of just confusing, but I certainly think he will be in the NHL next season. There's people saying that he should go to the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Toronto Maple Leafs. I could see him more going to Toronto than Pittsburgh. Uh, I don't know what uh, Pittsburgh's salary cap room is like. Same with Toronto, though. Uh, they're kind of in a sticky situation when it comes to that, too. But if they are to let JVR walk in free agency, then they could probably have enough cap space to sign Ilya Kovalchuk. But is it worth risking? Because he wants a two- to three-year contract, because he said he wants to play in the NHL for the next two to three years. Is it worth giving a guy who I don't think will take anything less than five mil a two to three year deal worth five mil at 35 years old and risk having a guy who's 38 eventually at the end of his deal uh, on a five million dollar contract not really producing because we haven't seen him play in the NHL since he drugged the New Jersey Devils to the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, that was his last full NHL season. So it's going to be interesting to see, like, what are teams going to do? Is it is it a good risk to take getting a guy like this who obviously is still going to score goals if you put him in a position to do so? But, like, what line will he play on and stuff like that? He's obviously still very talented, but not very fast anymore, as obviously he is 35 years old. So it's going to be interesting to see. And I want to know what you guys think, where you guys think he will end up. Like I said, I would love to see him go back and play for the New Jersey Devils. I wouldn't mind seeing him in Toronto if JVR was to leave but yeah it's almost confirmed i certainly think he will be in the nhl next season definitely don't think it will be with the new york rangers as i don't know where that even came from but a thing that i do think maybe has him connected to the rangers is his goaltender for ska igor shesterkin um, is a prospect of the Rangers and if he was to be the starting goaltender there eventually and then Ilya Kovalchuk would have a familiar face there but that's the only thing I can really think of that would be drawing him to New York because they're not a contender uh, but New Jersey is not really a contender but they are a playoff team and if you add a guy like this and if he can still produce good numbers in the NHL that could make them a contender the Toronto Maple Leafs they are a contender could you imagine Austin Matthews playing with Ilya Kovalchuk that would be an absolutely insane duo Austin Matthews setting up Kovalchuk so yeah, that's kind of my uh, input on the whole situation. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. I'm really interested and curious to see. Uh, do you think it's a good risk that a contending team should take to get a guy like this for how much money? And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. I hope you all did enjoy this video. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more hockey videos like this every single day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.